A disaster is unfolding in Italy as we speak, and it's not something to ignore. The Italian government is really tense, preparing for a possible mass evacuation of tens of thousands of people because of the Campi Flegre supervolcano, which has caused 2,500 earthquakes since last September. This is a huge wake-up call as Italy faces a shocking future, and things could get really bad if they don't act soon. Residents in Puzzoli, just outside Naples, are freaking out over the recent volcanic activity in Campi Flegre since May 29th. Many earthquakes have rattled the area. While there hasn't been major structural damage, these quakes mark the strongest tremors in over 40 years, sending shockwaves of fear through the community. Campi Flegre is one of the world's most perilous supervolcanoes, and it's been experiencing frequent tremors recently, causing widespread panic among residents. Officials are finally starting to take action, but their current evacuation plans focused on earthquakes are not nearly enough. Scientists are warning that a new comprehensive plan is urgently needed to prepare for a potential volcanic eruption, which could devastate the Naples area, home to over 3 million people. So we have to ask the question, are the lives of the residents in jeopardy? Well, let's take a deeper look at what is actually going on. Just recently, a swarm of at least 24 earthquakes hit the Campi Flegre Caldera with magnitudes of up to 1.5 and a 1.9 earthquake struck Vesuvius. The epicenter of these quakes, detected at a depth of 2.3 kilometers, was near the Fumaroles in the northeastern outer flank of the Sofatara crater. These volcanic steam vents have been getting hotter, prompting daily visits from scientists even before a major 4.4 magnitude earthquake on May 20th, the strongest in 40 years. Residents have noticed the increased scientific activity and are growing more anxious. The area around Sofatara is heavily populated because it doesn't resemble a typical volcano, yet it possesses immense risks. An official recently remarked that allowing construction there was criminally negligent. The current swarm of earthquakes could indicate fluid movements in the hydrothermal system, but if magma is on the move, an eruption could be imminent. And here is where things get really shocking. A leading volcanologist from the Italian National Institute of Geology and Volcanology, who has monitored Campi Flegre for decades, stated in March that he would evacuate now if he had the resources. This was before the recent uptick in seismic activity. Other experts warned that larger earthquakes, potentially in the magnitude 5 range and a possible eruption, could occur, for which the area is woefully unprepared. The situation in Puzzoli and the wider Naples area is dire and demands immediate attention. But that's not all. This may seem shocking, but people don't grasp the severity or potential impact of this volcano if things go wrong. For instance, during the recent 4.4 earthquake, the civil defense was utterly unprepared. Residents were furious. The head of the local residences organization called it pathetic. No civil defense showed up. They set up some tents but abandoned the people. They're still not adequately prepared, though they're starting to do more. People in Pozzoli remain upset and terrified due to that 4.4 magnitude quake, which came with a loud roar followed by numerous smaller tremors, magnitudes 1.5 and 1.7. The noise alone is enough to keep residents on edge, unsure of what's coming next. Scientists warn that a bigger quake could be imminent, leaving people questioning the safety of their homes. Many have already fled, reducing traffic significantly as they seek refuge with family or elsewhere. But that's not even the end of it, and here is where things take a turn. Local politicians are making daily statements, holding crisis meetings with researchers and civil protection agencies. The National Commission for Forecasting and Prevention of High-Risk Areas met and concluded that the volcano status hasn't changed significantly since May 22nd, keeping the yellow alert in place. However, their short-term eruption forecasts aren't particularly advanced. International experts discuss this crisis, noting that volcanic reactivation after a long dormancy often unfolds over months or years through seismic phenomena, which have been occurring since at least 2019. Ground deformation, accelerated land rise, and geochemical changes are evident signs. After this preparation phase, a short pre-eruptive period lasting hours or, if lucky, days follows marked by stronger earthquakes and hotter fumaroles. 
The dilemma is whether to evacuate Naples' more than 3 million residents now, potentially displacing them for years, or risk devastation if an eruption occurs without enough evacuation time. The recently released evacuation plan is flawed, focusing on only 143,000 people around the caldera. Even if they use 500 buses to transport some residents, the roads will still be clogged. Experts argue for evacuating over water too, but with Campi Flegre extending into the gulf, an underwater eruption could make that plan dangerous. Authorities must heed the scientists' advice and develop a more comprehensive strategy to avoid a catastrophe. There is an urgent need to update the Campi Flegre emergency plans to match the latest scientific findings. The Ministry of Civil Protection plans to continually review and adapt the alert levels and operational measures. After the recent earthquake swarm, the Vesuvian Observatory informed the municipality of Puzzoli that they were facing a series of seismic events beneath Campi Flegre, accompanied by loud roars that frightened residents near the epicenter. Authorities are now waiting for more damage reports, especially from those in old stone homes not built to withstand earthquakes. While some steps are being taken, they mainly address earthquakes. Did you know that the Civil Protection has issued a handbook on what to do before, during, and after an earthquake aimed at residents in the Campi Flegre Red Zone? But there's a big problem. In the event of a volcanic eruption, this handbook offers little practical help, as there might not be enough time to evacuate. History shows how quickly disaster can strike, as seen in the Vesuvius eruption, where people had no time to escape. Efforts to educate residents are ongoing, but it's surprising this wasn't done sooner in such a high-risk area. The handbook gives basic earthquake safety tips, like moving heavy furniture away from beds, securing tall furniture to walls, and using closed hooks for hanging pictures. It also advises knowing how to turn off gas and water taps, having a first aid kit, flashlight and battery-powered radio, and understanding the municipality's civil protection plan. However, this advice feels inadequate given the potential danger. It's alarming that people are only now being told to check if an emergency plan even exists. The situation is dire, and while any action is better than none, these measures seem insufficient to protect residents from a potential volcanic disaster. Did you know that scientists and experts have been closely monitoring Campi Flegre since the 1950s, a period marked by thousands of earthquakes? Did you know that they know exactly what is about to happen? Well, here is where things get really interesting. While its last eruption was in 1538, seismic activity has been very common since the mid-20th century. In fact, a bit too common. In a shocking revelation published in the Communications Earth and Environment Journal in June 2023, scientists stated that a volcanic eruption after a half century is a realistic possibility. Now, there are certain things you need to keep in mind if you're living in Italy or anywhere near the volcano. The first thing is to demand preparedness so you know how to act in an emergency. This urgent call is strange yet critical. You should be eliminating all potential dangers during an earthquake, such as being in a collapsing house or on top of a supervolcano that could erupt. Learn the correct behavior during and after an earthquake and identify safe places in your home to take shelter. In an earthquake, behavior differs depending on whether you're indoors or outdoors. Indoors, take cover in a doorway, near a load-bearing wall, under a beam, or beneath sturdy furniture. Avoid the center of the room due to falling objects. Do not rush outside, wait for the tremor to stop. Outdoors, move away from buildings, trees, street lamps, and power lines to avoid falling debris. Be aware of potential hazards like bridge collapses, landslides, and gas leaks. After an earthquake, reach the designated waiting areas per the Municipal Civil Protection Plan. However, past experiences show that these areas lacked basic necessities like water and food. Did you know that the Prefect of Naples announced a massive evacuation drill in the Campi Flegre Red Zone for June, emphasizing the need to improve waiting areas, keep escape routes clear, and conduct exercises promptly? Interestingly, during these recent tremors, inmates at the women's prison in Pozzoli were evacuated, leaving residents unassisted on the streets. Now, these inmates are on hunger strike, wanting to return despite the risks. This situation highlights a concerning lack of preparedness for the general population. 
While efforts focus on earthquake response, the looming threat of a volcanic eruption remains inadequately addressed, despite scientists' warnings. The current status is worrying, with frequent tremors, and efforts seem insufficient to address the larger threat. If you made it all the way to this part of the video, you may qualify for our membership, so you might want to listen closely. It's an exclusive area where we release videos that we cannot show to the general public yet. You'll get to see everything first and learn about truths that we cannot reveal anywhere. If you want to learn more and be a part of the community, hit the link in the description, in the comments, or on our homepage.